A Friday night that is destined for some football. The Canadian Premier League says hello to another weekend of action, and it begins with an all-Ontario affair. York United hosting Atletico Ottawa here in North York on the campus of York University. Let's begin with York United, and Martin Nash has made four changes to his 11 today. It's a story that we have to mention. There are a handful of players unavailable today, and unavailable is the key word. There are a few injuries for York United, but there is no. Brian Wright, Dusama, Lou, Mobabuli, Brem Sumaro, and Mikey Voits Marky Wojciechowski, they have decided that they did not want to wear the pride shirts. It is against their personal beliefs, and as a result, York United says you will not be in the team here tonight. As we introduce you to Atletico Ottawa next, they make two changes today in their 4-1-4-1. Noah Verhoeven and Zach Verhoeven on the left side of the attacking quartet. Malcolm Shaw plays at the number nine. Miguel Acosta plays as the conduit between the two banks of four. Miguel Acosta with a burst of speed. He gets behind G. Now he gives it. Rolling on is Verhoeven. Malcolm Shaw knew he was in front of the ball. He also knew that Verhoeven was charging in. <laughs> Nearly through seven minutes, and after observing some York attacks the first couple of minutes, it has been a lot of the men in red and white on the ball. Acosta, a nice touch away from Austin Ricci. Maxime Tissot lets it ride, Shaw into the box, Tissot overlapping, it's Verhoeven again! Zach Verhoeven with a blistering blast into the side netting and opens the scoring for Atletico Ottawa! A howitzer and maybe no longer the fantastic finisher as a sub, Jordan, but a fantastic finisher as a starter. So sometimes I told him shut up or whatever because I, I want to be the guy from my side to get things going. But that's what that's the type of person he is. When he's on the pitch, when he's on the bench, he's pushing guys on. He's making sure everyone's doing their job. No! The grand job of Luke Singh in an own goal against Atletico. They bide their time and a harmless enough looking cross into the box is sent past Sean Melvin. Beat by his own man, and that one is going to sting. They almost lull you into making passes. And then when they win it, you bite, they break forward with numbers. So you have to just be so diligent about playing with tempo. Here's Kevin Santos. That, that one I got to agree with Ali. But let's talk about the chemistry between Ollie Bassett and Malcolm Shaw. You can see it there. He's looking for him at all times. Oh, hang on. Mistake from Giant Sopolis. This is Bassett. Ollie Bassett off the post. Giant Sopolis can exhale that he's gotten away with one. Silly, silly turnover. And Bassett nearly makes him pay. But you see Nico here raising his hand to his team. Trying to take a bit of the sting out. And the Atletico Ottawa attack who are maybe just maybe starting to tire a touch. I think both teams are. It's a bit open this half. You've already seen, or we've already seen a few mistakes. Grant and De Rosario skies it. Sprawled out. Trying to go the wash from the back of the bus. It's crazy. Bassett, Sejan and Yassi, Max Ferrari stays with. Now Bassett from SC takes a deflection and off the post again. Stay there, stay there. Look at the, the red shirts that are back, all 11. Got to keep moving the ball with pace, with tempo. Wait for that opening. Austin Ricci lines up a long drive. See if York United can capitalize. Jeremy Gagnon Apare. Bouncing around and it's in the back of the net. Oh, Sase Di Rosario cleaning up the scraps. And his first goal of the season could not have come at a better time. That gets down on his feet. The supporters at York Lions Stadium as well. Tiso heavy touch, Petrasso goes to battle and gets it clean. The York United have done it. Their fourth win in the last five matches, and they head to the top rung of the Canadian Premier League ladder.